simplify that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me, let me end there, Senator Ayotte. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I wanted to thank you, uh, Dr. Dr. Luchenko, for your testimony. And I had uh, several other hearings I had to be at. So if, if my questions are repetitive, I, I apologize in advance. Uh, I just wanted to uh, express, I think, concerns that have been rendered by col colleagues of mine on both sides of the aisle about the catch share program. Uh, the catch limits in sectors established by NOAA for the Northeast Multi-Species Fishery Management Plan have represented significant obstacles for the fishing industry in my beautiful home state of New Hampshire. And because NOAA has been relying on, in, uh, from my view and uh, the fishermen in my state, incomplete and sometimes uh, non-existent data, it's, it's difficult uh, for us to assess the agency's current basis for establishing the catch limits and assigning the catch shares. Uh, NOAA has been measuring fish stocks and catch limit history in New Hampshire based on insufficient records. And I think the result for us and for our fishermen, who are great business people and just uh, literally salt of the earth and what they do, it's so important to uh, not only our economy, but a, a tradition we want to preserve in our state. Uh, subjecting our this fishing industry to unnecessary and burdensome regulations. Uh, Sustainable fisheries, I think, is in everyone's best interest, and New Hampshire's uh, geographically limited small fleet has been unable to, to fish beyond the closed areas established by regulation off the New Hampshire shore, causing a loss of close to 50 percent of the fleet during the past decade and a substantial loss of catch history for those who manage to stay in business. Uh, this puts us at a, new, a disadvantage in catch share allotments as it favors a, a, a place where you can have a good, well-documented history. So as a follow-up to that, I know that your budget request for 2012 includes $54 million for the catch share program, and that's increasing budgetary authority for $36.6 million over fiscal year 2010 levels. So based on what the feedback that you're hearing, I'm sure not only from myself or the state of New Hampshire, but other members of Congress, uh, can you tell me how those funds will be used? And let, let us know also, uh, how does NOAA plan to correct the policies so that these fishermen really aren't robbed of their livelihood? And uh, obviously, I think a very important, not only livelihood, but tradition to our state and many others. Um, so if you can address that, I'd very much appreciate that. Senator, thank you for the question. And um, fishing is uh, a very important part of uh, the, the heritage of our, many of our coastal states. Uh, it's important, you know, fishermen are small business owners. It's important economically to the country, especially to those states and especially to those counties. Uh, it's also important in putting food on our tables. So for all those reasons, uh, the goals of having sustainable fishing um, are paramount. Uh, and we want good jobs now and also good jobs uh, in the future. The um, Magnuson-Stevens Act uh, requires us to regulate fishing uh, and to do so in a way that can be sustained through time to end overfishing and to rebuild uh, depleted fisheries. Um, the annual catch limits that are put in place, uh, consistent with the Magnuson-Stevens Act, uh, are intended to do exactly that. And those annual catch limits are based on the best available scientific information that we have. Uh, and that is um, something that we need to continually renew, which is why in this year's budget we have requested an increase in $15 million, uh, of $15 million for fishery stock assessments. Uh, so we have the good information that feeds into setting the annual catch limits for each species. Now, those, those catch limits um, apply regardless of whether a fishery is managed using catch shares or traditionally uh, or other tools more traditionally used, such as number of days at sea or bag limits or something else. Um, catch shares, uh, those programs uh, are, are voluntary programs. They are not mandatory. 
the fishermen uh, and the councils in each region make a decision based on the characteristics of a fishery whether that fishery is appropriate for a catch share management program. The funds that NOAA provides then enable uh, a council to design a catch share system uh, that uh, will be in place once the council decides for sure that that's what they want for that fishery. So the requests for the funding in this year's budget are to go for those fisheries where councils have decided, the fishermen included, that that's the kind of management system that they believe is appropriate for a particular fishery. And there has been a lot of misconception about catch shares. Um, it's not true that NOAA is imposing them on anyone. They're voluntary. Uh, the councils decide. Uh, and where they have been in place, um, the fishermen, by and large, uh, believe that they have been very much to their benefit. Uh, fishermen have more latitude in deciding when to fish. Uh, they know how much quota they have for the year, and they can go out when the market price is right, when the weather is good, uh, when it's convenient for them. Uh, it ends overfishing uh, much more effectively than days at sea. Catch share programs typically don't exceed their quotas. Uh, and so there are many, many uh, benefits to those programs, but they're not a panacea, and they aren't appropriate for each and every fishery. And so we really believe that the councils have, should have the right to decide which fisheries, uh, for, for which fisheries catch shares are appropriate and which ones they are not appropriate for. Well, Doctor, I appreciate your answer, uh, but I can tell you that the fishermen in my state don't feel like they have, uh, this is a voluntary process, so to speak, and they also don't like the program and feel like that it's basically putting them out of business. Uh, so I think that this is an issue that crosses party lines. Um, you know, so I appreciate what you're saying, but I think that we here in Congress really have a responsibility to look at this and to do things differently. And that's why I'm concerned that even when we've looked at the regulatory oversight uh, for, for NOAA, there's concerns about duplication, regulatory oversight, the dockside monitoring, the way that the reporting is being done for fishermen, too, has been very onerous. So I guess I'm saying to you, I, I'm, for one, want to make sure that we preserve uh, the opportunities for our fishermen. And um, so I, I appreciate how you're describing it. It's just not the, the perspective that I'm certainly hearing from my constituents that I'm very deeply concerned about. And as a follow-up to that, just to ask you about your overall budget,